You ready? Yeah. How are you doing? My name is Alexander Lee, and today my team has built Potion, the very first hardware wallet that makes it possible to lose your hardware wallet. <laughs> Private keys are these nasty 40-digit passwords we use to store our crypto assets. If we lose our private key, we lose all our crypto wealth forever. Since we can't remember these codes, and it's incredibly unsafe to write them on a scrap of paper, people have volunteered to store their private key on hardware wallets, which are these USB sticks that store nothing but your code. The problem, however, is these devices are treated more preciously than rare family heirlooms. People rarely ever use them. They hide it in their homes. They keep them locked in a bank vault somewhere. Potion has invented the very first hardware wallet where you can use as a paperweight, you can leave it on your front porch, and you can take it anywhere you go because it is incredibly safe to recover and incredibly risk-free to lose. Hackers cannot break into them when they find your private hardware wallet. How Potion works is we break your hardware wallet, I mean your private key, into three shards that requires three unique reconstruction methods. We have a, a fingerprint scanner, a digital pin code, and a questionnaire. The questionnaire is the real string of Potion. The user enters eight personal questions along with their own respective answers. The private key is deconstructed by Potion in a way that can only ever be recovered by your own eight answers. The user is the only one who ever has access to them, which means that Potion only stores the questionnaire and the reconstruction algorithm. If the, if the FBI ever comes knocking on Potion's door with a search warrant for a particular user, po whatever Potion hands over to the FBI, it cannot be used to compromise that user's private key. Our ease of access recovery model is, our ease of access model is a security feature that happens every single time you want to access a transaction on your hardware wallet. How it works is the user scans their fingerprint and enters an eight, um, enters a four digit hardware pin. Potion has reinvented how we design, how we enter these traditional pins by redesigning numerals, by replacing numerals with images. Images are easy to remember and notoriously difficult for hackers to penetrate, which gives us an ease of mind every time we lose our hardware wallet. Potion wants to reinvent how we, well, Potion wants to reinvent the relationship we have with hardware wallets today. The hardware wallets of today can be like the relationship we have with credit cards. It's simple and easy to use. Thank you very much. dive a little more into how uh, the blockchain is used in this example specifically? Yeah, I'm kind of on my team up to answer the technical, question, technical questions. Yeah, so, so t technically, like, firstly, um, to store the questionnaires, to store the questionnaires, you could always distribute the questionnaires. So even if the questions are same, the mapping which happens on a particular shard of a private key could be stored di distributedly on the blockchain. If it's cheap to store, you could always store it on blockchain, but you could always store in a blockchain-like distributed network. Like a company could store it on blockchain like distributed network. So you have that, uh, not uh, you don't have that centralization risk. Yeah, go ahead. Um, fingerprint? Fingerprint? It's, it's in on your hand, right? Okay, so the so only thing you put is the questions and so forth on the blockchain? So the only thing that we put on the blockchain is, so, so if you see, that it's divided into three shots. One is your fingerprint, one is the image pin, and one is your questions, right? If you have your hardware wallet with you, you have the image pin with you because the images are in the wallet, right? You have your finger with you always. 
if you lose your hardware wallet, you have your still have your finger, right? And you have those questions which are still distributed. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so you still have those questions, so you can buy a new wallet and recover it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know a company called Kiwi? Well, what key me, what they do actually is you just go once, mm -hmm. put your key mm -hmm. on a blockchain and put your fingerprint. Mm -hmm. Which basically means you ever forget your key. And we're talking about home keys, right? You put your, so why that blockchain? So firstly, like what they do is that they put your key on the blockchain. So it's encrypted, I get that. It's right. encrypted with your fingerprint, right? It's pretty easy to hack your fingerprint. I can hack your fingerprint like you touch so many things, I can take that and decrypt that thing. Okay. So it's firstly not secure, right? Even like in our case, the residue which is stored is not even the encrypted text. So even if you have encrypted text, that's only secure with how secure your password is. So if the password is one, two, three, on way, it's gonna get cracked in one day, once I have the encrypted text. So you can't really store the encrypted text on the blockchain, if it's like transfer network, you really can't, because you can really crack that. So that's pretty easy to crack that. Okay, cool, where do you live? Here, Santa Clara. Santa Clara, okay, so any hack happens on fingerprint, we know you did it. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a question. So yeah. the reason why the uh, the hardware wallet is still the safest because it's a hardware. It's disconnecting from whatever online. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Do you think you? Because by enabling this, even though you store everything in the blockchain, we assume it's safe. Are you thinking you're actually exposing some vulnerability, comparing with a pure hardware wallet? Not really, because like firstly you have to uh, like the only thing that is stored on the blockchain would be when you want to recover your key. Right, that's the only thing. And if you're familiar with sharding, so sharding is basically you take a key and you distribute it into three pieces, right? And you cannot recover your key no matter what until you have two pieces. So I have one piece which is on the blockchain. Just one piece is on the blockchain. So using that piece, you can't currently cryptographically get the other piece and try to reconstruct the key. So until you are compromised, the blockchain is compromised, your finger is compromised, <laughs> it's, it's still gonna be safe. But this adds a factor of convenience to user, right? Because now they don't have to worry about all this recovery sheet, they have to keep it somewhere safe and all this stuff. So you could always lose your wallet and recover it in like within a minute, to be honest. <laughs> all right. All right, you guys woke up? <laughs> all right, so we're done with the Q&A. Thank you, this is a great presentation.